I just need a little rest. I need a little time, downtime for me. Just some time to relax, you know, where nobody's bothering me, where I don't have any expectations or anything to do. Just a little bit. This is Zach, and I want to be great. Hence the quest. Today, thoughts about work ethic, where I struggle in some places. I know some of you will say, man, you're one of the busiest people I know. You're involved in this, 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 and this. And you would be right to some degree. Some other people say, well, you need a break every now and then. You deserve to rest. You need some vacation. And those people can be your biggest enemy when you're trying to get it done. I got a lot of stuff I need to get done. And you probably do too. Man, they need to pave these roads speaking of need to get done. And if you're like most of us, which doesn't excuse, you have procrastinated or you are procrastinating. Well, I'm going to teach class. And then after that, I got a hot water heater issue, I believe. And you can't lay around and decide, well, maybe tomorrow or, and it's all, you know, uh, I'll take a look at it when I can. No, because when you got five people in the house and two showers, you want hot water, especially when it's still March and cold in Banner Elk. Let's count the things I'd rather do after t after class tonight. I would rather change my clothes, hang out with my wife. I would rather lay around and watch YouTube. That's two. I would rather go to sleep for that matter. I would rather watch a movie. I'd rather play around on uh, social media. There's a lot of stuff I'd rather do than check my hot water heater, but I'd rather not make my wife mad. Headed to Lowe's. First thing in the morning, almost first thing in the morning, before the hair. Yeah, I worked all night on that and it didn't make the priority list. So I've got to get this pop-off valve, uh, which I just learned about, replacing the water heater, then head back to work. Work ethic, a little rest, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands. And you know, when you have a water heater out or not heating water more than lukewarm temperature, it's time to do something about it. And uh, because you got four other people who are gonna be really hot, <laughs> pun intended who are going to be really hot with you for not getting it fixed not a big deal at all just got to be taken care of how many other things about that in my life would it be nice if i felt this kind of pressure and just automatically did that uh diligence that that um striving if you will and going after it's, it's working Right, here's the new toy that right there can make a difference in a person's life with hot water new pipe wrench because that other thing I had was a beast and you'll see the space some of that jump here we go well that didn't fix anything still popping off so I think it's a water pressure problem and I'm gonna have to do a job that I've never done before which is uh, putting in a pressure relief Re release valve pressure I don't know one of those things that uh, reduces the water reducing valve there it is one of those things that reduces the uh, water pressure in the house because it's just uh, they've dug up something that the water company has and anyway none of that matters uh, talking about work ethic getting after it I was thinking again of Proverbs 6 verses 9 through 11 and I'll butcher the exact reading but the first question is how long will you sleep, oh sluggard? We don't use that word, but you know what that means. Sloth, somebody who's lazy. And that's the question it asks. How long will you sleep? How long will you rest? How long will you take it easy? Whatever it is. Work ethic is a decision. It's a decision to do. I 
tell you that I struggle with this. I may be very busy and I may have a lot on my plate, but I can identify with that next verse when it says a, a little sleep, a little rest, a little folding of the hands. I'm just going to watch a little bit of this. I'm going to take a little bit of a break because we all say stuff like that. I need a break. I need, a, I need some time, some me time, some downtime and stuff like that. And you know, there's a balance in there. I understand that as well. Whew. So trying to deal with the water company who has no idea when or who dug four by four hole in pavement and then recovered it, repaved it and adjusted something to the water that messed up the water pressure uh, in the house and has got everything going crazy, but we don't know. We'll come take a look at it. I've, that's not gonna do me any good. So what stuff gets in your way? Comment below. Hit the subscribe button if this video helped. Like it if you don't agree with it. If you think it's too harsh, dislike it. At least it's a, a reaction, an honest reaction. But what stuff gets in your way? What do you commonly find? And aren't you like most of us? Maybe not. There are some people I know that are extremely driven people uh, who don't care anything about television, who don't care anything about leisure time. In fact, leisure time drives them crazy. Uh, I'm not that person. So it, it, it takes more effort and it takes, uh, it's a fight essentially. Is that, is that, does that describe you? Is that you? And, and what is it that gets in the way? For a lot of us, it's phones and, and so forth. So um, do you identify with this? All right, well, I got some work to do. Uh, in jury first and then come home and got some plumbing work to do. So I'm gonna learn trial by fire. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out. Maybe. Hit the All right. Plumber by morning. Jeweler by afternoon.